The year was 1969, and the world was changing. Nixon's inauguration, the Vietnam War, Woodstock, and on July 21st, before the eyes of the world, man first set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are. Back on Earth, Houston became famous as the home to NASA's mission control, but it was about to also be the birthplace of another global institution. You, you knew absolutely it was going to be something very special. Dean Taylor, the founding dean, was really what I would consider the P.T. Barnum of the hospitality industry. It was very important to my dad once this, this dream, he had this dream, and then once the dream started to become a reality. It was really an, an idea that uh, Dean James Taylor had had in his mind and his heart for probably a decade. He was not only smart, knowledgeable, etc., but he was a promoter. He knew how to make things happen, how to attract money. He'd worked for years and years, and uh, he uh, convinced the university, Dr. Philip Hoffman, who was president, got them to say go. It was the only educational opportunity for people in the hospitality business in the whole southern United States. So it became very big, and Dad made many contacts and many, many lifelong friends during that time. And one of those friends was Eric Hilton. It's a wonderful thing for me to have gotten involved in the beginning with Jim Taylor. If it hadn't been for Jim, uh, we wouldn't be celebrating here. He went to Eric and asked him what he thought, and Eric loved the idea and immediately set up a meeting. And before we knew it, Dad was flying out to Los Angeles to meet with Eric and Baron and Conrad. And he appealed to him, and it took Mr. Hilton a while to make that decision, but he finally did. And he was very proud that, you know, University of Houston and Dr. Taylor uh, asked him if they could use his name uh, for the college. And, you know, it's been the Hilton College ever since. And my father was over the moon. Zero. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Lift Conrad Hilton once dreamed of being the first to put a hotel on the moon. And while that dream is not realized, yet, the dream that bore his name, built by Dr. Jim Taylor and so many others, has lived on. So it was a heady time. Everybody on campus was excited about the future of the university as well as the future of this college. Don Greenaway, the associate dean, he said, well, Bob, they don't have anything at all that we won't have in 50 years. We were one of the few independent colleges at that time, so there was certainly a lot of prestige and a lot of recognition. The standards here, the work ethic here, the quality of the faculty, you know, that says a lot for over the years how the program was, was built and nurtured and cared for and, and broadened so that it has the stature that it has today. You know, and if you've never been anywhere else, you don't fully appreciate how special we are. We are providing a once in a lifetime experience for our students that really they're not gonna get anywhere else in the world. Whatever Dean Taylor's dream was in 1969, I don't know. I, I think 50 years later, we're way past that. The book of the Hilton College, there's a bunch of chapters still to be written. I can't wait to see what those last chapters of that book, book show because it's gonna be a bright future. It goes back to the culture. It goes back to Mr. Hilton himself. It goes back to Mr. Eric Hilton. It goes back to Dean Taylor, who all have that vision that they want to do something better for the future. Because he said to me, and I still remember this phone conversation we had, you know, the money is great, but the name, the Hilton name is going to carry us a very long way. And 50 years later, it would seem that he was right. Well, I think we always have to know where we've come from to be able to assess where we are. The college was about a year old when I came down for the first time. Now, mind you, there was only about 20 or 25 of us in the college at that time. One of our early professors, the first full-time professor, Dr. Frank Romanelli, had a small office on Caroline in downtown Houston. Hello, Cougars. When I started with the university in August of 1970, Don Greenaway, 
was the associate dean and George Young, assistant dean. Don uh, took us into the room, call roll, and uh, they said, we're going outside and taking a picture. And I, I've never had that happen before or since in, in a classroom, so. We had no building or offices on the main campus until the hotel opened in 1974. Our classes before then were taught in the Heine building and our cars became our campus offices. We were like nomads. There, were no, there was no building and there, our classes were all over the campus. The area where now the Hilton College and the classrooms are was just a field with trees. In fact, I remember Vietnam War demonstrations going on there. Dr. Greenaway, uh, Dr. Romanelli, uh, they really inspired you. Dr. Clinton Ripoll was a big help when he arrived in the fall of 1972. I came down as an assistant professor and taught. Uh, I had to teach you know, three new preparations my first semester. <laughs> we weren't the first hotel school in the U.S., um, but we were in the South. We were sort of a new wave rather than an old school hotel school. And again, Dean Taylor was such a genius in that he brought in people that had had worldwide experience. In those 11 years that I, I was involved in administration, we really did some challenging things and exciting things and uh, and it's fun to see what they're going to be doing in the future. One of the things you realize is that people that work within an organization, when you have something concrete that's new and fresh and improves what you've got, they get excited and it's fun for everybody. It was very inspiring to students uh, who were you know, wanting to enter this industry. Frankly, you know, it's, it, we've evolved in the last 20, 30 years a lot, you know, from starting with that itty bitty little faculty um, in 1969, um, and John really grew it. As the industry becomes more complex and more specialized, training students to fit into some of those uh, specializations, whether it be big data analysis, whether it be revenue management. And did a great job and really poised the college in a perfect place for me to take it to the next level. Dean Reynolds has done a fabulous job on continuing to advance the reputation of the college and its standing around the world. Now we're going into the next 50 years where we plan to expand the college and uh, add some guest rooms. Between the, the renovation of the West Wing, building a new tower, and at the same time, we're gonna try to do all these things concurrently, renovate the existing tower. So we will be a brand new, by 2023, a brand new, amazing Hilton Hotel. And of course, we're about to build a brew pub. We are about to also uh, build the new wing. So it's a, a huge evolution. And of course, the degree plans that we have that include edu being educated in different parts of the world at some of the finest hospitality institutions around the world. The opportunity to attract more students and to expand what we do is going to put us at even more of an advantage as the hospitality industry continues to reinvent itself. There's just so many opportunities. There's so much available for these kids in school now. This college is going, I mean, nowhere but up. Students today have to look at the big picture and the, and the world out there, which is so much more connected than it was. We have to teach not just what the students need to learn today, we have to teach students what they need in the future. What challenges, what great opportunities. It's kind of exciting. Again, couldn't be more proud of what's happened here. You know, the facilities, is, is, they're wonderful, but the students are what set us apart. Um, and, and it's just gonna get better. We all know when you're in school, you're learning. We, and then that second phase, when you're in your career, you're earning. And then you're lucky enough in that third phase to be the return phase. You learn, you earn, and then return. And coming back here as an alum and being engaged and involved with Hilton College makes me feel really good in giving back to all the Hilton students. The university and the Houston community as a whole has been very supportive of our, our college and our students. Because of colleges like this, this industry really has changed and it's, it's no longer just a job. It is a profession. Um, and I would encourage everyone to support this college and to continue that, you know, for the next 50 years. The scholarships afforded me a real opportunity to do well here and to stay in school, to keep giving back, 
to keep getting involved, to keep contributing. I think we need to be sure that we are helping the students in the best way that we can to be able to focus on their studies and help them to find the direction that they want to go. You know, I mean, how much more of a difference can you make? You know, that we are giving them a future that they never would have been witness to, which is, feels good. And, and really hearing it from the students. So we used to try to connect students with donors. So either lunch or dinner. Logistically, it's just a difficult thing. Our students are working and the donors are busy. So instead we started doing one minute video clips for the student to just say thank you because they want to say thank you. They just never had the opportunity. Hi, my name is Atiba. I'm Jada Buasi. Hi, my name is Christina Tapia. My name is Parmbir Lidhar. Sherry Faison. It's Tian Yu Wang. You can call me Isaac. My name is Salma. I am a freshman. I am pursuing a bachelor's degree in hotel and restaurant management. I am studying with a lodging emphasis. Getting a master's in hospitality management and an MBA dual degree. I am currently uh, looking to pursue hotel operations. I'm studying restaurant entrepreneurship and restaurant management. My emphasis is in sales and marketing. And serve as a role model for the young woman who would like to pursue a career in management and leadership. I picked Hilton College because of the openness. Because it allows students to be hands-on with their experience. For its great reputation of excellent professors. And, and the opportunity to network. Because I heard that the Hilton College was really well known, one of the best in the country. My parents said just choose the best major in this university. Then I chose to Hilton College. My career goal is to have a line of boutique hotels and restaurants. My goals for the future are to be a general manager or to eventually move on to marketing. Hopefully to own a restaurant someday and be head chef. I want to earn a position in general manager as a hotel or restaurant. So I start my own business, uh, maybe open my own restaurant in the future. That I would eventually like to own my own venue. So you create a music venue. Either like a bakery, cafe, and then, or maybe going into food safety to gain the health aspect of hospitality. And I knew that all that was going to help out toward my near future when I opened my own business. Over the past three semesters, I've come to really love it here. Uh, the scholarship has really enabled me to focus on my studies. Thanks to this opportunity, I'm able to put my mind to rest and really just delve into what I love. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whether it's a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, it's making a difference. Um, and, and even if they don't realize it today, when they have children and their children go to college, they're going to think, "How did I pay for this?" Oh yeah, someone took care of me. Um, and I think that's that's in all of our best interests. <laughs>